hello there and welcome to the first game of this bullshit challenge I put up for myself which I will in which I will play every single game in my Steam library and this the 39 steps is the first it's not really a very active game I guess yeah, it's a pointer free experience. Um, I have no idea how I got this game, probably as part of a bundle or whatever. Because uh, this is totally not a game I would normally play. Which is pretty nice, I guess. Because now with this fucking challenge, I will play every single game. So I will also play the games I would normally not play. Like this, for example. Um, yeah, so obviously I have already played a few games out of my library. And there are also games that are not really uh, storyline based. For example, the multiplayer only games, in which I will probably just do some hours of it, I guess. I don't even know which games those are and which aren't, I suppose, so we'll find, find out. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is really confusing because I have... Alright. So there's a pause button. Alright. Select the first event to begin. The wrong beach. Interesting. Um. Oh. Returned from the city on that May afternoon, pretty well disgusted, uh, disgusted with life. Interesting words. I had been three months in the old country and was fed up with it. So he's basically bored as fuck with his own life. Huh? Interesting, interesting. Richard Hanney, you have got into the wrong ditch, my friend, and you had better climb out. Nani, what is this? The present, the chest. What? What can I do here? Is this like uh, background information? Ah, uh, it is. All right, all right. If you want to read this, I suppose. A quick pause. Uh. Oh, so we have to go from here around the clock. Alright. Makes sense, makes sense. So yeah, like I said, I would normally not play games like this. Um, so, I might be positively uh, surprised by the games I'm going to play, I suppose. Obviously, I know for the most of the part of the games. A lot of the games in my library are obviously games I want to play. Or I wanted to play and shit. Like a lot of games back when I was a kid. I was like, oh, that looks sick as fuck. And I would see it in every single store I would go to. But, you know, sometimes it's things that's, that were 18 or 60 plus, so I couldn't get it. Or I wasn't supposed to, or I was scared of it, you know. So now I have those games in my library. And also a shit ton of other games, obviously. Games that are part of bundles that I bought for like 3 out of 5 games. Which grants 2 extra games I have never played. So 
Oh no, it's like 258 games or something that's in my library. So yeah, that's uh, gonna be a lot of content, I suppose. The old country. Bloody hell. So basically, uh, alright, let's talk about this game for a second. We live in back in England. So we have had some chickies that were like, hey, yo, interesting. We have no friends. Well, we have vague acquaintances, I guess. But no real, real friends. And here, uh, it's basically that we're going to stay in London, which he's disappointed with. Alright, so he wants some action, something to do, some weird ass boyer to uh, Oh, so he's rich as well, damn son, damn Oh no, what did I do? Yeah, it's really hard to What's above it though? Oh, it's, it's probably the text we have read, right? Oh, okay. I understand how this works now. Um, Alright. I still have no idea where this is going though. Well, apparently some action because this we are playing as the most boring man, the board, the most bored man in England, and this is supposed to be a thriller. So, no. Annie Laurie. Never heard of her. Mm. Oh, now I can. Like, look around the room and shit. Like, oh. The British Empire. Yeah, there's nothing we don't know already, right? I have no idea what we're supposed to do here. Oh, are we even supposed to do anything at all? Oh. This, this. What's this though? Oh, it's someone's wallet over there. Oh, your cursor goes... Uh, Intelligence office. Interesting. Okay, so here we have one secret to see. I guess it's this. Oh, and now we're done because we have three out of three uh, diamonds, I suppose. All right then. All right then. Interesting. Interesting. I'm not going to read everything, because that's boring as fuck, by the way. So if there are things you guys want to read, you can just pause the video, I suppose. Oh wait, I have to press the button first. So we spent the day doing absolutely jack shit. Nice. And now we are going home, I suppose. Or are we going on that fan show? Hmm, yes, very nice. Ah. Is there anything else you can guess not? Nope. Let's go. It's 
not like a restaurant is normal for a regular SFAC apartment complex, I guess. Ooh. It's kind of nice how the sounds are in the game, by the way. Oh, this is our... Oh, fuck, how am I going to read this? Shoot text. <gasps> oh my god. Nice. Is there more text? Uh, yes, there is. <laughs> Wait, what and what did he get himself? A Rhodesian Ridgeback. The fuck is a Rhodesian Ridgeback? Alright, time to Google some words. I have no idea what the English translation to this is. Rhodesian Ridgeback. It's a fucking dog. It's just a regular ass dog, I suppose. From South Africa, all right. Interesting, interesting. Shaka, 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 shaka. Nice. Peter Pinar. That doesn't sound well. It sounds South African, I suppose. Which makes sense because he lives there, and we are from there in this game. All right. Let's see. Draw the symbols as they appear. Like, am I supposed to do it with my mouse? Dude, where's my mouse? Here. Oh, I have to. Like, uh, bro, what do you want me to do? Oh my god. Why is this. <laughs> Why is opening a door so complicated in this game? <laughs> Oh no, more doors. <laughs> Anything but Paddock, more doors. That's me home. Uh, I'll be heading out for dinner. It's gonna be a struggle, I suppose. So I came home only to leave again for dinner or Man, I don't understand anything of this game. Oh come on. Where is my So I'm just chilling at home now, I guess. Alright, that sounds like a yes. Nice. Oh no, we're on the move. Let's move it, bitch. That evening I dined at a cafe royale. And then what? Oh, yeah. Before I wanted to say that the atmosphere and the sounds and shit in this game are pretty nice. It's just set up so far, it's kind of boring, but it is to set up, I guess. Okay, so we have a choice to go either to, to some music halls or the Leicester Square. Leicester. I know how to say that word. I guess music's nice. Is this information? What am I supposed to do here? Or aren't I supposed to do anything at all? Oh. Well, I guess I didn't have to do anything. Or didn't do anything. I didn't even know. Well, maybe I should just stop talking and focus on this fucking game. Nah, fuck that. Fuck that. We have more than enough games to play to uh, focus on, I suppose. I have tried to play a lot of games in my own free spare time, but what I've noticed is that I just, it's just hard to um, 
stay with a single game for a long time. In uh, when I don't force myself to do it, I suppose. Like if I am um, recording like these games, videos for these games, and, you know, I'm being forced to play it, kind of, which is nice. Ooh, achievements. Maybe after this. Uh, oh, I just. What the fuck? I like how this is just a straight ass line of events. We probably don't. Our choices probably don't even matter at all. Like. So the first part is basically an introduc introduction slash prologue to the main character, I suppose. And now we are going to. leave England? I guess. And that's when a stranger visits us. Ooh, spooky. Back at the old apartment, I suppose. <gasps> a light. Oh, never mind. Oh, we're back home. And I'll speak to you. May I come in for a minute? Uh, our neighbor. Oh, ain't that lovely? Well, so we're just letting him in. Huh? Oh, this again. This is going to be such a struggle later on, I suppose. What's a kiddie? No sooner was he over the track. Okay, uh, is the door locked? Oh, she needs. He's in some kind of trouble. Trouble? Trouble. Bruh, he. Why? Why? No, okay. P f fine. You can't just pour yourself a drink when you're a guest in someone's home. But sure, I suppose. Sure. Alright, lit as fuck boy. <laughs> hmm, interesting. I'm very sorry. It's a mighty liberty, but you look like the kind of man who would understand. I've had you in my mind all this week when things got troublesome. Say, will you do me a good turn? I'll listen to you. That's all I'll promise. This is going to be a mafia Pardon. thing. I'm a bit rattled tonight. You see, I right happen right at this right moment on. to be dead. What does it feel like? <laughs> I'm not mad. Yet. Uh. Say, sir, I've been watching you, and I reckon you're a cool customer. I reckon, too, you're an honest man and not afraid of playing a bold hand. I'm gonna confide in the you. Is cool customer I need help worse than any man ever needed it. I want to know if I can count you in. <laughs> Get on with your yarn and I'll tell you. I like how it's low key ASMR sounds. <laughs> oh god, what is this? The queerest the Rick Mar What the fuck is this supposed to mean, man? Like, my English is. Oh, oh is this our neighbor? Or. Is this like the intro to this character? Okay, I guess it is. What is this? So wack. What did he discover? Ooh. 
I did not expect a cutscene like this. <laughs> uh. Sneaky, sneaky. <gasps> He's by the tree. This uh, kind of reminds me of uh, Dora the Explorer. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is this is literally about a conspiracy theorist, I suppose. <gasps> it's the Illuminati. Yes, that must be what this is. These two people here are yeah, yeah, exactly. They want war to make more money, aka Illuminati confirmed. Holy shit, bro. It's all just... Oh my god. <sighs> That's whack. There's nothing new, right? This has always, always been a thing, I suppose. But like... On the 15th day of oh. June, Constantine Karolides is coming to this city. The British Foreign Office has taken to having international tea parties, and the biggest of them is due on that date. Now, Carolides has reckoned the principal guest, and if my friends have their way, he will never return to his admiring countrymen. I have no idea what the fuck this is about anymore. Well, that's shit. simple enough, anyhow. You can warn him uh, and keep him at home. And play their game. If he does not come, they win, for he's the only man that can straighten out the tangle. And if his government are warned, he won't come, so for he does not know how big the stakes will be on June the 15th. Alright, so if I understand correctly, our random ass neighbor is politically... I don't even know. And what about the British so hard to explain in They're not going to let their guests be murdered. Tip them the wink, and they'll take extra precautions. No good. They might stuff your city with plainclothes detectives and double the police. And Constantine would still be a doomed man. He'll be murdered by an Austrian. And there'll be plenty of evidence to show the connivance of the big folk in Vienna and So his and friend Berlin. is the guy who uncovered the, the case will look black conspiracy the theory, I suppose. Or, well, it's not a theory anymore because in this game... But it's not going to come off if there's a certain man alive right here in London on the 15th day of June. Oh. And that man is going to be your servant, <gasps> Franklin P. Scudder. Bum, bum, bum. So we have to kill our own servant. The fuck does he have to do with any of this? I don't get this, man. Like, am I just not focusing on the game enough to, or the story, I guess, in this Where case. did you find out this story? I completed my evidence 10 days ago in Paris. I can't tell you the details now, for it's something of a history. Oh my god. But when I was quite sure in my own mind, I judged it my business to disappear. And I reached this city by a mighty queer circuit. Till yesterday I thought I had muddied my trail some. And was feeling pretty happy. Then... then Fuck. <laughs> I accidentally pressed my right... Uh, mouse button, I suppose. How do I continue? Oh, continue, sorry. Man standing in the street outside this block. Also, I used to stay followed. close in my room all day. I still don't understand the big picture of this. For like, an hour or two. Maybe, maybe I'm just I watched retarded. him for a bit from my window. Know. I thought I recognized him. He came in and spoke to the porter. When I came back from my walk last night, I found a card in my letterbox. Oh. A threat. It bore the name of the man I want least to meet on God's earth. Uh, I still know who that is, I guess. I... I totally don't understand anymore what they are talking about. What did you do next? Well, I think I understand, I I was but... As sure as I, I don't know. <laughs> and that so, there was only one way out. 
It's so confusing what they're I saying. I had to die. <gasps> bum, bum, if my pursuers knew I was dead, they would go to sleep again. How did you manage it? So he faked his own death? Or is our main character just talking to ghosts? Like, oh, we can go from any order we'd like. Hmm. Alright, let's start with step four. <laughs> um, okay, maybe not. <laughs> I already don't understand the story at all, so. Okay, so the first step is he told the man who. Fa what the fuck does this word even mean? Okay, so we got some makeup. Okay. I think I understand what I have to do with this game. <coughs> Alright, let's see if we understand correctly what they're saying with these things. Okay, so he told a guy who valets him. Alright, so I guess his shrink, he told his shrink that he was feeling quite bad. And he got some makeup and shit to look like he was wanting to die, I suppose. Which wasn't difficult for his no slouch at disguises. So he disguised himself as a very depressed and sick of life, I guess. Yeah, okay, okay. He doesn't, okay. Okay, the first step is not that hard or complicated, I suppose. Then I got a corpse. <laughs> Interesting choice. Yeah, okay. So then he had to get a dead body. That's basically it. Right. Then he had to get evidence for the inquest. The fuck is an inquest? Uh, I don't even know. Maybe an inquest is like a inquiry. Did I say that correctly? I don't even know. Um. He basically drugged himself to present himself dying, I suppose, to a certain doctor. That's what I gather from it. Uh, and then step four. He made the corpse look like him, I suppose. And he made the scene look like it could be him. Right. And then. Uh, he okay, okay. Ah, fair. So he shot the guy's jaw away because it didn't look like his own jaw. Uh, uh, which is interesting, I suppose. Oh, it's not okay. Scene he left behind, I suppose. I had had you in my mind all day, and there seemed nothing to do but to make an appeal to you. I watched from my window till I saw you come home, and then slipped down the stair to meet you. So he doesn't even really know me. He trusts me by telling me his fucking everything. All right, all right. There, sir. Interesting choice. You know about as much as me of this business. Why the fuck do you tell? Nah, that's all. What is this? Uh, we are pouring ourselves a drink. Well, I wanted. I mean, our main character wanted some uh, adventure, right? So I guess we got that at least. Hand no me your key and I'll take a look at the corpse. It, but Excuse my caution, but I'm bound to verify a bit if I can. Yeah, fair. I reckon you'd ask for that. But I haven't got it. <gasps> it's on my chain on the dressing table. Oh. I had to leave it behind, for I couldn't leave any clues to breed suspicions. Yeah, fair. 
It would be the kind of so sure. Pretty if the keys bright eyed gone. citizens. Right. You'll have to take me on trust for the night, and tomorrow you'll get the proof of the corpse business right enough. Alright, like I wanted to say, it's pretty sus if the key to the house is fucking gone, you know, like someone could have stolen it and killed him or whatever the fuck. I don't even know how smart the police is back in this time, but right. not as dumb as me. I'll think. trust you for the night. I'll lock you into this room and keep the key. Just one word, Mr. Scudder. I believe you're straight, but if so be you are not, I should Ooh. warn you that I'm a handy man with a gun. <laughs> I haven't the privilege of your name, sir. But let me oh, tell you, you're a true gentleman. Now, I'll thank you to lend me a razor. Interesting. I still don't really understand the this everything in the big fucking picture, but it'll probably come soon enough, I suppose. Is this the next morning? Mr. Scudder. I don't even know anymore. I didn't pay attention in the last five seconds. Oh, this was another. What's this? But appearance. No idea what it's talking about. Oh, probably not, Mr. Scudder. Last night, Captain Theopolis Digby of the oh, 40th okay. Gurkhas, presently home on leave. I'll thank you to remember that, sir. What does that even mean? Maybe he has some type of personality this way. I don't know. I have no idea. Probably not. Ooh. This might just be the first game I will 100% achieve in. I, I with um, <coughs> now we're talking about it anyway. I have got zero games with 100% achievements, but I am missing one for Shadow of Mordor, which is the hunt of my mistress, and it's a fucking pain in the ass to get. It's so hard. It's unbelievable. I've tried so many times. Oh. 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 So, we're like a day forward or a night or. We're waking up, I suppose. Stop that row, Paddock. There's a friend of mine, Captain. Captain. Oh, he's dossing down in there. <laughs> yeah, Get yes. breakfast for two. He did not remember his me. name. But Paddock is like his leggy or a servant, I suppose, right? Yeah, okay. Character. So he's handy capable, but loyal nonetheless. Oh yeah. So far the story has been pretty linear I suppose. The game said something about making choices in the beginning, but I highly doubt that it does make a difference in my Even in games that are more advanced than this one I suppose, have are very limited anyway. Which we will get to play at some point anyway, but Well, you will see what I mean, I suppose. Well, you already know what I mean, probably. Like, those Telltale games in the beginning were like, oh yeah, you get to make your own choices and shit. Like, sure, it was, they were right, you get to make your own choices. But it was still quite limited, and a lot of outcomes were still the same, I suppose. Maybe not with the later games, which I have not played, but... The lift man. Interesting. Nasty business here this morning, sir. 
Jet in number 15, been and shot himself. What? I just took him to the mortuary. The police Bloody are out there now. You don't say. Hmm, I wonder who that would be. Oh, so we're going to the... Why the fuck do we go there when there's police involved? Like, we're... In quest. Uh, exactly as was planned, I suppose. <laughs> well. I think this is quite an easy game to speedrun, by the way. I also like how there are there were parts that you could like um, point and click, so to say. But we haven't been there in quite a long time. So I think... Wait, what? Wait, can I go back again? It sounds like he's going a bit crazy, I suppose. Okay, maybe not. Solemn? I'm not even sure what that means, man. I must say, this game is pretty hard to understand if... Say, Hanny. Oh. What is it? I judge I should let you a bit deeper into this business. I should hate to go out without leaving somebody else to put up a fight. Alright, like I wanted to say, uh, this game is pretty hard to understand, or difficult to understand, if you're not vocabulary... Uh, how do I say that properly? Like, my vocabulary is okay, right? Like, I can talk and I can understand people, but some of the words used in this are like straight out of a book. It's it's, it is based on a book, so it's not crazy at all, but still well you get what I mean I suppose <laughs> the plot thickens wait what the fuck happened did I miss something okay so it goes pretty high up the threat Man with a speech disorder, I suppose. No idea what he's talking about. Alright. So this whammon is supposed to get these boyers out of sight of the guards. Uh, I don't even know. It's all political and shit as well, so it's doesn't make it any easier, I suppose. Ah, yes, death. I reckon it's like going to sleep when you're pretty well tired out. Or waking to find a summer day with the scent of hay coming in at the window. I used to thank God for such mornings way back in the bluegrass country. Bluegrass country. And I guess I'll thank him. When I wake up on the other side of Jordan. I'm going quite uh, philosophical there. I feel like it's skipping pretty hard through the days at this point, pretty fast. So, the sense of time in this game itself, it's pretty, uh... It doesn't make it easier to understand, let, it, let, let I say that. What is this? 
sir. Are we like flying in open or Oh well that's uh a turn of events I suppose. Wait, is that Who is that? Like Oh, he was an American spy. Ah, well, that is something I did not know before. <laughs> oh no. Oh wait, they're gonna think I killed him, right? Ah. So, Scudder, right. Scudder is the American spy that we have murdered. Well, we didn't murder him, but everyone... And everything is gonna think we did. So, that's gonna be interesting. But I don't really understand so far how we came to this though, so... Well, we're gonna find out, I suppose. Hmm, <laughs> nice. Maybe he just did it himself again, and this time for real. more adventure right so well now we got a dead man in our room oh oh poor you don't have time to think think oh, I keep forgetting okay think Henny think He's already dead, what the fuck are you talking about? Like well, maybe they're just gonna frame Henne, right? With this murder. Exactly, like, there's nothing you can do except for dealing it with it yourself, right? Uh, so the only choice is to just get rid of the body and see. I suppose. But he did tell us most, if not all, of the information, I suppose. So. The pocket book. What's the pocket book? Is that something I missed again? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, time and time again, I suppose. Oh. A medallion. Medallion? Medallion. Family pictures and shit. Oh, this isn't a family picture. Far from, far from it. What's the text? Isn't London where they keep stabbing each other? But all right. Uh, next. Whose letter is this? Oh, it's Henry's. Dear Peter, that's a familiar name, I suppose. 
Oh, it's the same. Next. Body and nothing else. Nothing else. All right. What's these? Share text. Blah blah blah. There's no more text. This one. Is. It's just a book, right? All right then. So much for the crime scene. <gasps> Different art style. No, that's true. The entire apartment. Oh. Yeah, that sounds like no fucking shit, dude. Like, for real. So we're gonna leak the information to the government. Sounds like a plan. Can I? This is the only place I can click. So. Well, we're never gonna know now. Just ignore that last part, I suppose. This game is so annoying when it comes to. Um, yes, I'm gonna continue for now. Yeah, no, I uh, had to check something because I thought I was getting. Wait, I am getting messages. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not. False alarm. Very false alarm. Alright, so, Brewer, I just. <sighs> Wait, are we back at the beginning of the thing? Oh, we are. No, how did this happen? Alright, let's uh, speed run through this part, I suppose. Can, can't I just... <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Alright, I want the information to uh, save, I suppose. So that we have officially read it and shit. Alright, so we have this. No, I pressed outside of the game again. Ah! For fuck's sake. Oh, if, if, if it's gonna crash now, I'm gonna be real sad. Like, bruh. Alright, you know what? Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next episode.